He has standard too. Against. Against, I believe. I'm not sure what kind of druid this is. It's just because. Yeah. He just invited yeah. me. Alright, we're about to find out what kind of druid this is. Not... Um, no, the. <laughs> the Cthulhu plays oh, the same. Oh, does he? Do they? Do they? No, they don't, they don't run Raven Idol, do they? I, don't, I personally don't run Raven yeah, oh, they, they do? do? What? So, yeah, we did see that route being played now as a removal. And followed by a wild growth. Oh, by a wild growth. Alright, so we're good now. So, one thing I want from Blizzard for my birthday is to have a better spectator. You know, kind of. Okay, so what I think he did is turn one coin wild growth followed by turn two wild growth roots kill dry wolf alpha. And now he has solo four, so yeah, this is Yogg and it's token Yogg. So he's wisp he's uh, double wisp of the old god version variant of the deck. Still good. Well, don't know, like just yeah. like a little bit of um not even care at all. He's just going with Mana Excel, which is pretty good. Yeah. Oh, actually choosing with creature. Oh. So he is gonna fight he is gonna fight for the yeah. board. Do you think there's any point of actually ramping? The other benefit is he does already have Soul of the Force, so if God Draw decides to go face, he could actually just play Soul of the Forest, trade, 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 and get three two twos out of the deal and probably clear most of the Warlocks board. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. And most of the time you just want board from Zoo and then eventually you just run out of steam. I, I definitely like that. Yeah, We're but... We're gonna see a lot of trades here. Though. I mean, if you don't trade as lock player, yeah. you're probably... You're, you're doing it wrong. That's what you do. You're probably setting yourself up for a bad, bad future trades. Interesting though that he did end up putting damage on a lot of his... So Swipe is really good mm -hmm. here. Hey, look, Fandral. See you. Oh, here we go. About to get here comes the Fandral. Uh, he could get swipe, which will help him remove the board now. Ooh. So currently, that Ancient of Lore draws a card. Ooh. He... Huh. Second Raven Idol. What does that allow him to draw here? Is Living Roots better here? So he had two mana remaining. He could Living Roots. Innervate, Darnassus Aspirant, yeah. or just hold on to the Innervate. I like holding on to Innervate. For yeah. But, yeah, it, I like holding on to Innervate. You can do a lot of possibilities so it, with the um, Soul of the Forest, with the Darnassus, I believe. Because it's probably likely that he's playing Yogg next turn. Yogg next turn already. I, I guess, like, yeah, that's reasonable too. Okay, so he's probably going to go all in here, maybe, just because he would power over well, or he's just removing the Fandral. Okay, so he's just removing. The I mean, interesting. Y'all could get for the hunt. <laughs> Be pretty good. Into the darkness is also an okay one. Smacking face before here is definitely good. Uh, normally, like I always, you know say trading is like a must and stuff like that but there's times where so he doesn't actually have to yog here he could search for uh mulch mulch is not good here hey yeah, he got, got mulch. mulch mulch is definitely safer to doom guard like why would you not save it for doom guard? Yeah. it is probably the second scariest card that you can see uh sea giant being the main mulch target mm -hmm. though Oh, we might see mulch here. He's innovating, so I'm anticipating mulch right here. Wait. Maybe... Roar to kill the 1-1? One, one? <laughs> that doesn't seem that great. So if he's doing this, he's to, doing it to kill the uh, Dark Iron Dwarf. But then we're probably going to see the uh, Power of the Wild Doom Guard, or even just Power of the Wild Forbidden Summoning. Yep. So why would you even do Power of the Wild? Just trade, trade, trade. Hey. Yeah, you definitely take the Valor trade here. You can't really afford not to. Or is it better to actually just do Doom Guard? But, uh, you're drawn to damage you actually for, for lethal. Uh, so that would leave you... Well, if you're doing that, then you definitely uh, yeah, do Power I, I like Power of oh. the I mean, not Power of the Wild. Power, uh, yeah, power, power yeah, of the Wild. What I would have done is, yeah, play the Possessed Villager, use 
power over one wing now, and then follow up with the like, Doom Guard the next turn. Because right now, you, you're not 100% mm. sure this board would actually stick. Uh, but the question is, do you attack first? Mm -hmm. Do you... Wait, is there any other way to possibly do lethal? No. So yeah, he's gonna trade it to Darnass, his Aspirant, uh... You're trading in the 4-4, four four. you're not going into phase, I'm pretty sure. Oh, he's, go he's always going all into the Yogg. Well, if he dooms, then he just draws infinite. Resurrect. Mark. Oh! Mark of Yash oh, Rush. That's good. Power shot. Oh! Face. That's not bad, too. Oh, oh okay, Snakes. okay, this is a full board clear. Wow, he was really lucky. Oh, wait, no, no, <laughs> wait, it didn't hit. That's not a full board clear. Oh, no, what? So he's... Oh, okay, he's still alive. Yeah, man. That power overwhelming is not lethal. It's not lethal. What are the two secrets uh, he, he got? Snake trap and what else? It was snake trap and counter spell. Oh, so that, that actually counters that. That power yeah. overwhelming actually does not run uh, Archer Horse Rider. Oh. So he's oh, not gonna have any way to. Oh, that sucks. Damage roar. So it looks like the the Druid ended up sneaking a win here. Like I wouldn't say sneak a win, but like. Yogg did things that were good. You know, I watched the um, EU preliminaries. I saw Yogg stealing a lot of games from people, so that actually was quite backbreaking. Yeah, so. Yeah, there was no negative effects of Yogg that ended up making him lose the game here. Alright, Deadly Kid in winning a game. So, I think this is like 1 0 right now. Yeah, 1 0. Shall be mine! Hopefully he's just grinding out his gear, but yeah. Let's let's go back, let's to, go back to Hearts. Watching. Oh, this is the Nazoth Reno lock. Interesting. Zoth, Reno. Interesting, the Zoth Reno lock. So I'm actually quite excited because I did play uh, the Zoth Reno lock as well on ladder, but it didn't really, it wasn't as strong as Cthulhu lock. So I want to see what kind of build he actually did to actually make it more consistent. Uh, he's probably playing the Leroy Faceless Power of That was a possibility. I do like that. Uh, so the, that variant actually cuts Demon Wrath, Heathalur, and it doesn't play the one drop, but possess villager. Yeah. For those three cards. If people are, if they know <laughs> the disaster variant of Reno Warlock, yeah. I know it's like not common at all. Not definitely not common at all. It. Deadly Kitten did pick up the Hellfires, which would be really, really crucial in this kind of matchup, just because you don't really need a condition like Shadow Flame, so this is going to be pretty good for... Uh, so he's going to go with the Dark Iron. Yeah, Dark Iron is pretty good. He had two options here. He could have gone um, M Gang Boss, Coin Abusive Sergeant, or Coin Dark Iron Dwarf. Mm -hmm. Both actually play really well against uh, Hellfire, but I don't even think you're worried about Hellfire at this no, point. You're definitely not worried. You're at a, you're, Your board is way too yeah, small. Way too small. You even have a lot of things that can protect you too, like Sentient and potentially Argus later on. You can even tap into Reno, which is another possibility that can save your life. But Shadow Flame and Hellfire lock, yeah. seems pretty good. So on the zoo side, um, yeah, like you kind of still want to play the trade game, but you're always kind of worried about uh, AOE, just kill all your minions. But on the flip side, the Reno lock. You actually only have a few ways to clear the board. That's Hellfire, Shadow Flame, and Twisting Nether. So, I mean, it, it's pretty interesting. Like, sometimes you just see players not play their AOE removal, even on boards like this, just so they can combat the future turns. <laughs> Try to get rid of, you know, scarier things, uh -huh. like Doom Guard and stuff like that. We're seeing quite a bit of... Good. He's played Rag. Yeah. Yeah, Hellfire definitely comes here. He is pressured to the point that he needs to do it. So what does that do? That removes 7 damage from the board. Okay, yeah, that's not bad at all, but you still have a, an awkward card with the Double Shadow Double PO, Flame. right here? Double PO? Oh no, that's a Mortal Coil. Uh, nope, he did not get it. Mortal Coil is probably not good here. Is Lily Stewart versus... Young Priestess? Which is better? Mortal Call, interesting. 
Well, it just allows you to draw. I don't already. think he's going to have any windows to use it outside of maybe like finishing a trade into a creature. Yeah, but he can control that. But right? with your current board, yeah, but with his current board, like. No, how, no, no. He can. When he is, needs a card to draw, like he needs some burst, he can do it on his own minions, too. Yeah, but that's never. You never well, great. Well, if you're in a dire situation when you need burst, I feel like. Oh, so he is playing Peddler. So yeah, he's actually gonna be able to do a full clear here then. Actually, no. There's still gonna be one token. Yeah, he... Is he dead with that just that one token? How much health does he have now? Tap it to Doomguard. That lethal. Because uh, then he'll have the one token, right? As long as he doesn't tap, he'll be good. But I think that's why you picked up the Soul Fire just to move that one minion on board just to survive. Yeah, this place around the power of a wild. I actually don't feel. I, I don't feel power. bad. Just got a card. Oh, oh, overwhelming. Oh. Oh, there's the Doom Guard. I feel like you tap here. I yeah, that was the option was to tap and then that. Or but now it's Get like it a out. possessed villager is actually just lethal by itself. Yeah, I think this is really solid. It's so hard for the player to come back. Oh, my shield. For He's still. Dead, dead right? Dead. Yeah. Yeah, that, dead. that one remaining damage is coming from the possessed villager. Alright. <laughs> he just realizes. JK. A lot of it's just three O's. Alright. Alright, so it is tempo based, so you did guess right. Two swipes. I'll probably take away, put away the two swipes. Yeah, that's something you don't need. Probably the Thalnos too, because that's like a combo card. It doesn't allow you to play right immediately. And I see that Deadly Kitten is playing the new portal. As well? Uh huh. I wonder if this is Yogg with Nazoth. It could be. It, like a it really twisted be. variant. Yeah, it definitely could be. Uh, well, sorry. Roots into Power of the Wild. Make two, two twos. Or he can just go with this play and make a 3-2 yeah. here, yeah. which still gives him a better play against Tempo Mage. Because God Draw still doesn't know like what kind of deck he's playing against. Huh. So he was thinking about playing Thalnos this turn. Mm -hmm. Is playing Arcane Intellect better here? No. I, I almost like just coin into a Forgotten Torch. It looks like he's just going to go into Mirror Images here. Yeah, I like that. I'm trying to wonder, like, think of how it's bad here. I don't think you're really worried about damage all that much from yeah, these decks. So, it's, uh, so I'm not 100% sure why the images were actually being played. So Living Roots is going to come down just to remove the Thalnos. The Thalnos is pretty threatening in general just because of its spell power. There's a lot of combos that you can do with the um, Temple Mage itself. Yeah. Attack Thalnos with face and not have to deal with like not actually have to pay two more mana next turn to kill the mirror image. It would have been at the sacrifice of the one armor that you gained that turn. Yeah. So, well, okay, now he's not punished for it at all because he actually found the play. It's like I, I felt like his play was kind of weak, like in choosing where to attack and conserving that one armor. But yeah, that wild growth pickup actually made it to where it was perfectly reasonable. Again? How is my fan getting louder? Uh, I actually moved it away I from have me. No and not facing it anymore. It's probably hitting your mic in some so I way. Started talking. You know what it is? It's because I got the razor headset yeah. and we're not used to uh, that like foam tip yeah, that you had yeah, on yeah, it yeah. that actually made those sounds yeah. not as bad. Now this headset like picks it up. Mm -hmm. So bad. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so we're going to see the fireball coming down here with the double mana worm. Just put up a little bit more Pressure. Well, Temple Mage always yeah, has a pretty really good, good uh, rep against uh, Druids in general, too. Oh, JK. Oh, JK. This is a Wrath Troll. You know, I don't think you have to swipe here. I think you could just North. go uh, and Nourish, wrath. Draw, draw and, then wrath. and then Wrath. Or, or, or you like, wrath the only thing that would change that is what? Oh, is he going to do the double clear? Do you, you, you think it's Wrath? No, you think wrath he's going to Wrath for one? Oh, okay. And oh, then swipe? Like, oh, okay, okay, he's Wrathing for one. And then you hear power for what? Yeah, you hear power to finish it off. I guess that's okay too. But that's also a very interesting Here's kind of play. Or well, maybe he's just scared. It keeps the board clear, yeah. but now you have less things going on. Like, you could have had, uh, well, yeah, like not drawing three cards there kind of 
maybe hurt him in the long run. I don't know. He always has that swipe to remove minion. He would have been able to do the exact play the following turn as well. Well, actually, that also affects the card immediately too. It makes it so it's six that uh, or six spell damage. Or six right. damage. Right. Does Violent Teacher will allow Deadly Kid in to draw another card just because there's a one one on? Like on the board. Oh, oh, oh but was that Wrath yeah. in the same pickup? Yeah. Okay, so like, yeah, it would have been able to draw the card, yeah. but he also would have been able to do the, the portal mm -hmm. as well. Firelands portal. All right, we're gonna see the Wrath. But now Firelands portal doesn't gain that much advantage. Unless, is there a minion that deals once the board one at the end of the turn or something? No, there's nothing no, like that no, yet. No, there's nothing like that. Like a mini uh, Baron. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> Alright, so probably the so board it, over here, right? It's on the 3-5. Or the teacher, I mean. Yeah. And that's a pretty good body to remove a teacher. I feel pretty good about that. That's a GVG card. <laughs> What's going on Wait, here? that is a GVG card. Wait, no, no, it's Wait. not. No, it's not. That was that came out oh, of the Oh, no, no, no. It's, yeah, yeah, that's, it's, uh, uh, it's uh, the uh, tournament. tournament. Yeah. Grand Slater Tournament, yeah. Sorry, I'm not, we, we don't see, almost, we do see almost. much mechs lately, so I just assume. Yeah. It's like, wait a minute. <laughs> that would have been insane as a mech, but yeah, I'm probably just gonna see the trade into redoing yeah. again. Yeah, he's using the weight, so maybe he gets the benefit. Look at these five drop just bodies, upgrade. man. They look pretty beefy. Yeah, it's a really good value yeah. card. We can see a thousand in this swipe here if he really wants to, or he just swipe and then just hero power be it. He still does. Like. I don't think you hero power. If you're hero power, you're oh, dead that beat. interfade. He has possibilities here. Yeah, swipe. He did. He did have the option of like do claw as well. All right. So there is a board clear here with the flame waker, especially in combo with the. Um, the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Oh, okay, he's drawing first. I like that. Oh, Arcade Missiles. Do you go all in here? Uh, as much as you yeah, can. as much as you can, right? Next turn's Yogg turn if you have to. Do you even Frostbolt face? Frostbolt face is definitely not bad here. Uh, you don't have to Frostbolt but, face, but it's definitely Arcade Missiles yeah. turn. How about, how about the Mirror Images? You want to play around Jodel Claw if possible? How about Mirror Images? It does protect you just a little bit. Yeah, that's what we were going for. It protects you from the the Claw. But playing as many spells as possible is definitely correct. I think you can hold on to the Arcane Blast. The Flame Waker, I think you have an immediate answer to the Flame Waker with... Wait, actually, no, no, you? he doesn't. He doesn't, because he has to uh, get through the two taunts to deal that extra one damage. I like killing the Sorcerer. It limits the options that the Mage has. It's limited. It's pretty good. Yeah, but we're gonna see. We're still gonna see Drake come down, and gonna see uh, a big removal on the Druid of the Claw. Yeah, a yeah. one mana kill your <laughs> four six. Oh, interesting. He's going for the Drake. So is he double frost bolting? Oh, that's lucky. Maybe he should. I, so, yeah, I feel no, like he should have done it the other way around. Because if he did the other way around, would have been. Oh no, because he doesn't have enough Let's mana to do magic. it. Oh wait, no, he still does if he can actually do this. He, he would have. He could have taken the less riskier route. Well, okay, so yeah, he the arcane blast, the Jupiter the claw. Yeah, this is really good, yuck. Oh, betrayal. Uh, on Ooh, the CTs. That's nope. good. Ooh, that was actually the best target. Oh, Doom is pretty oh, okay. I like four. it. Gives you card draw. Mm hmm. So Fandral, Fandral plus Raven Idol, I'd be pretty upset if he did play uh, Raven Idol here. I think he should save that. Like he could actually just play uh, Teacher Raven Idol into second Raven Idol. <laughs> Smite yourself? I, I think that's pretty worth considering that- Oh, okay, okay, no, no, not anymore. No, that's not worth, that's no, not he's worth. Also going Oh my god, double Raven Idol next turn? And still think he's bored! Ah, oh, so good! By controlling its opponent's creature, the best y'all ever, JK, and just drew him a bunch of cards. So, yeah, it's okay to Raven Idol here. For what reason? No reason. This looks pretty good. 
but he will be overdrawing yeah. and he's, he is in his last card, but I guess that healing charge will allow him to survive just a little bit, but this Yogg, it's gonna be pretty deadly for a deadly kitten. Oh man, I just made a pretty good He just needs to play Yogg, he has a bunch of spell power and damage. This is not lethal yet, is it? Yogg, Yogg is for when you actually need to find a way to kill your opponent. He already has the answer to kill his opponent. See, like, playing, uh... The uproot now. He's okay, he's yeah. gonna go up to 13. Yeah, it's going up to 13. If That's why I thought, like... Is is there any additional spell power? Oh, no, it doesn't matter. Oh. So he can kill... The Age of War yeah, here, but... I don't even think that's worth. I think Yogg's a little bit more worth. He does be trading in his ray. Yeah. No, 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 just, just blast, yeah, and then just deal for damage, for damage in face. Yogg could have been really good there. Like, there is a critical mass for Yacht, right? You don't want to play it with, like, 15 spells. <laughs> More chances that you're just gonna lose, right? Like, if you play it there, then you're probably just likely to draw a bunch of cards, which would have gone into both Roaring Torches, or second Roaring Torch, maybe it's Fireball. Not even sure if he's actually playing Fireball. Have you seen one? Fireball? He... I haven't seen one yet, but he ha he is... He still has seven cards left in his deck. Okay, we're about to see the Leroy off the mulch. And do some crazy stuff. It'd be lethal. Could be lethal. Oh, Garrison Commander. That, that's actually oh. highly relevant. It allows you to hear power twice. It's not like two mm, we're likely to just see Yogg if he doesn't find lethal. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Alright, we're gonna see Yogg. See, that's why I kind of like seeing uh, Yogg the turn before instead of trying to kill the Ancient of War the legit way. Oh! Because then you. Probably not the best target. Soul for the four. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that, that's not uh, bad. That's not bad. Didn't really, doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah. Oh! Lightning Storm, good, good. That's oh, really good here. That's really disgusting. good. If it kills the teacher. Oh, it did not kill the teacher. Killing a guy and giving it taunt. Pretty good, pretty good. Swipe. Whoa, Leon hands. That's uh, good. Leon hands, really good. And the second Roaring Torch. Wow. And is there any way to... Double chain lightning. This is a pretty good yard, uh, I must say. Okay, that's kinda sad. Uh okay, yeah, flame strike's pretty oh, good. Shadow Shadow oh. Step. Ooh. No, no, he, he's never gonna play that yog again. Know, but don't, so... don't think he's gonna play it. Oh, he missed out on an opportunity to duplicate it first. Wow, this is a pretty good Okay, yard. yeah, so uh he does have lethal next turn. Is there a way for him to get out of this? Hopefully, hopefully. No, there is no, no way no, to get no, out of no, this. No, there's no way. Yeah, he's not fatigued yet. He's actually yet. just... That's a and then, fatigue, and then really. Like a, fire, uh, like a warring torch in his hand. Like, there's no way he's gonna get out of this. So, was there a reason that he did play, uh, Fandral plus the uh, Raven Idol the turn before? He's just looking for more heal yeah, and stuff like that. Would. I guess he would play to remove as much as he could. He's Oh, he's going for the Yogg. So, how do you kill your opponent? He's going for the style yeah, points. Yeah, going style points. This can go wrong. I'm just gonna say, this can go wrong. Alright, alright. Well, yeah, he's just going for lethal. Like, he was thinking right. that he could just kill his opponent with the hero power at the end of... Like, hero power, in turn, dies to fatigue. <laughs> end up fatiguing himself with Yogg. And killing himself with Yeah, so... Y Dragon Warrior, remember that uh, Deadly Kitten banned the Shaman deck. Tempo's actually really pretty good against Warrior yeah, deck normally. Unless it's the Tempo Warrior, then it's bad. Like, it's really good against Dragon Warrior. So he already has the main card that he needs, which is Leroy. Mm -hmm. Has one of the puzzle pieces. I almost think I, I like keeping um, the Havanis. Mm -hmm. Because if it's not Dragon Warrior, it's usually really good. Yeah, it's usually really good. <laughs> like, it gets an insane amount of value. Savant is pretty good against, like, it's one of the key conditions against the Cthulhu Warrior as well, because you want to power overwhelming it and stuff like that. Yeah, that's why I, I just like keeping it. Like, even if it's Dragon Warrior, it does have its plays, but, I mean, sometimes you're just not able to play it. So, Twilight Drake is probably the best here. It's the reason why you kept it. Yeah, 4 9. Most of the time, usually what Warrior actually do is just, yeah, deal one damage to it and just execute it. Just because it's just so hard to remove it and just lose you tons of tempo as well. 
Yeah, so that's exactly what he's gonna so do with the radical and execute. Choose to gain four here or go with the dependable funnel cake. Funnel cakes is pretty good, but I Dark Peddler is the uh, play. Oh, feels bad, man. Can't even motor coin Oh, never mind. So you you take. Oh, yeah. you're right. Yeah, you're not. To possess villagers is probably best for them. No, you can still take mortal coil. It depends if he trades the um, magical into the into the peddler. I think with the yeah. fire and going with the earth and fire sphere like I thought he would go with, until I lost myself into the untargetable fairy dragon. Great yeah. trade, dude. Yeah, I don't think he coins it. He can save it for a rag later on, and then just be a huge pain to deadly kitten. Actually, you might even get lethal with it, depending on the situation. Because I don't think you play Leroy, or I don't think you play Reno here. Mm -hmm. See, it would have been a good opportunity to play Savannah that turn. Hey, look what he just drew. Oh, that's a pretty good pick up. Yeah, I think you trade Corruptor. Yeah. No, I trade your Ghoul away, and then yeah, you have a pretty good body creature. Two really good body creatures here. Neither one of them actually died to most the Warlock's removal. Mm. Besides Siphon Soul, which takes him a full turn. No twisting another in Deadly Kitten's hand either. Yeah, this is, he's like very, very aggressive. Like, he definitely needs it. Wait, how many cards do he have? Is, uh, that's like 10 cards, so he can't really tap. If he taps here, overdraw. And I see Deadly Kitten actually so, holding over it. Yeah. Gaining 4 is not worth. You're not too worried about getting burst down, because the Dragon Warrior doesn't have... Too much burst. Uh, so far is probably fair. Oh, I like the Savannah. Got rid of one of your weaker cards. Yeah, Savannah is sick. Yeah. No, might have actually playing it first would have been better, but I think he really needed to prevent the Leroy. Uh, so is there any good way to remove this? Oh, he's no. actually going to the dome with the Greg. There's a. And how this usually goes is Rag is going to hit Savannah, and Savannah is going to steal the Rag. Oh. Condition number one. Oh, it oh. always happens. Okay. Not this time. Not it this time. And he did miss out on... He lost the power of overwhelming. Mm -hmm. so that would have been like the easier answer to this too. So the next easiest way to deal with this is there's Flood. Yeah, Flood it. He... I don't think you have to play Rena this turn. Even to Grom, it's not even Yeah, he has bad. cards to Flood. He has the Imp Gang Boss while also having the Infestus turn. Like, he could have just played that turn. But picking up the Ember oh, is Ember. huge. That means he can play Nazoth next turn on the Savannah's. But he doesn't have anything else to come back with it. So we'll probably see the torrent come down with, uh... Doesn't do much here. Yeah, he can't even remove... His pressure's not too yeah, big. He can't even remove the uh, Emperor right away, so this is gonna be huge value for Deadly. Unless... Uh, oh, if it hits face, he's gonna go with Reno. Yeah, you now you're forced into Reno. But yeah, I really like getting the yeah. torrent down, because like, your opponent has to get yeah, through it. Torrent, yeah. But I think you can get away with playing, um... Subfairy Protector mm -hmm. here, as well. Just taught up your entire board. Mm -hmm. Just preventing any way possible that you could lose here. Because there is a possibility that you could just die to damage yeah, here. True. Very unlikely, but you definitely could. Rag hit face and pressure goes face as well. Oh man, that reduction though. Do a short one damage. Yeah. Every time, every time Emperor gets like more than one uh, proc, I usually don't worry about that card anymore. So that's not the priority anymore. The priority is just to do what you do to win the game. Yeah, that's true. Like Rita does give you that insane advantage of tapping whenever you like. So probably gonna see the blood to Icker. Oh, never mind. I was gonna. I thought we were gonna see the blood to Icker to just value removed, but yeah. That goal was a pretty good piece to pick up. What kind? No, I, no, I don't think he would use the Dragonite Crusher to actually go face. He probably used it to trade, probably the uh, Emperor. Ooh, no face. That's. Rob is not yeah, lethal. Cause... with the uh, Blood Decker. Because even if Ragnarok goes face, it's still not lethal. So I thought trading would have been a little better because Reno, he, like this is a so... real deck you're playing against though. So need to trade in your Emperor. You can even take the initiative just because you're just so far ahead. No, not trade in. So, soul, uh, not Soul, but, um, Shadow Flame. Oh, Shadow but if, Okay, if he's doing this play, then that means he's not... No, he could still do Emperor, because that's only five with the Shadow Flame. I mean, not Emperor, freaking Reno Jackson. 
Okay, so he's using his uh, M game boss to trade into the rag with the Argus. Oh, he's doing a full trade then. In no, he's yeah. going over to. Yeah, Ooh. so he, yeah, then he trades in the Apothecary to this. Um, the Dragon and Crusher. Which is saving his Emperor. So he really wanted extra value of Emperor. Mm -hmm. Probably he's going to see. Yeah, to concede really shortly. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, this is the like, worst case scenario for the, war uh, the warrior, right? Then this is the Zoth is gonna come down next turn and just like no way. No he's, way. He's like the, I'm uh, the gatekeeper. Uh, pretty much. Like he brings back Alex Straza and the Torrin. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that uh coil actually was exactly what he needed to find the damage to kill the uh, Grum. Mm -hmm. Probably gonna see the. Uh, he even has enough damage for this. Yeah, we're not gonna see this off. Yeah. We're gonna see. No, yeah, we're gonna see the. Uh, and then you see Kodo. The Kodo. Yeah, Kodo to move. Yeah, it's, it's perfectly fine. Just still searching for more uh, death battles. He could even Sun Fury if he wants to. No, and that's exactly what he does. Ooh, here comes a Fire War Axe. Yeah, you just kill the Reno Jackson. Well, either one's fine. Actually, I like killing Reno here more, because why? I don't know. Oh, just, just in case like, there's a Brewmaster, just in case there's effects. a Brewmaster, he sends it back to his hand and does Reno again. Brewmaster yeah. should be good. We saw it before, like we saw uh, Firebat play Brewmaster. Yeah, true, true. It's not bad. You also you, you you also at one point thought that Brewmaster was good in like handlock too, so it definitely could be good here. Uh, there was a time where it was yeah. good, like, but I think that change once you know more cards came out <laughs> oh here comes a shadow flame taking the last drop taking everything away yeah from there, there was just there were so many um tech choices for warlock back in the day like just bouncing um like it wasn't reno it was just regular it's like bouncing bgh bouncing um 